Hi guys, this is tutorial 2 and within this series we'll be looking at how to set up an Active Directory environment on a Windows Server 2008 R2 domain controller. Okay, so this is tutorial 2 and we'll be looking at how to set up Active Directory users and computers and some of the ways to set it out. Okay. So first thing you need to do is start administrative tools and active directory users and computers. Okay, so once we're in here, we need to well this window will pop up and from in here you'll notice on this tree here active directory users and computers and it'll show the domain name and below it where it says the domain name that we should set up in tutorial one. If you didn't, if you haven't seen tutorial one, then click the button on the screen now. Okay, so to expand this domain, we need to click on the plus arrow. Okay, so this shows in the different groups for each of the different objects we have. Okay, so the way that this is set out can vary through different environments obviously. Um it depends how you personally want it to be set up. Uh what I prefer is to put the objects in OUs, organizational objects. Okay. So to create a new OU the OUs are like folders. So to create a new one we need to right click on the domain name, new organizational unit. Okay, so in this wizard, this will set up um, a folder basically to store all your users and different computers for different departments. Okay, so in this tutorial, we'll be say setting this up for a school. So we might want different groups for teachers and students so we also want a group for IT so that any IT admins can have full access to the system at any time okay so if we create this organizational unit and we'll call this um, school okay so this we're going to untick this that will protect the container from accidental deletion. Well, it won't because I won't dict it, but that's what that does. So if somebody right clicks on it and accidentally clicks delete, the chances of that happening are quite slim, but hey, if someone clicks delete, it'll say, oh, you can't do this because you've protected it. Okay, so we'll just untick that for now because it's, it's a bit annoying when you're going through testing things. Okay, so, okay. So we'll now realise that we've got Uncle's school. Now, if we were creating users, we wouldn't want maybe a thousand users in this users part of the domain. Instead, what we do is we'd set it up elsewhere. And that'll be in the school folder. So, what I'd recommend doing if you're doing it for school, you should create another organizational unit called computers. Okay, we'll untick the accidental deletion. Okay. So all the computers that will be connected to the domain we can put in here. And also create one called users. And from in there we would put one that would say teachers. students IT admin okay so what we can do is when we create the new users we can basically set up 
the users in different groups so if we create one for a student we don't want that to be in the same group as the teachers so maybe any of the users in this student um, organizational unit will have less rights for the system than teachers do and the teachers will have less rights than the RT admins do because the RT admins will have full access to the system okay so here are the three different groups we have and what we can start doing rather than having users in mother sorry I'll start that sentence, sentence again rather than having the administrator in the users uh, folder we'll probably want that in another place so we can just drag that to the IT admins folder and it says it's just a bit of a warning saying that it wasn't designed to do that but yeah so in the IT admins folder we've now got administrator now personally I wouldn't use the administrator account because because it exposes security risks so if somebody hacks in and gets to your server somehow then the username is going to be administrator and they're going to it's a bit easier for them to, to get in so what I'd do is I'd set up a new, a new administrator account by copying it we call this sys system well, change that actually um, IT admin there yeah so IT admin 1 okay so the password we can set up password, password never expires and they cannot change the password okay so we can now see that we've got an IT admin user and we'll see that in the member of we've got the admin users, enterprise admins, blah blah which is the same as the administrator we've copied it. Okay so now we don't need the administrator account so we can get rid of that. Oh we can't do that sorry but what we can do is we can disable it so that that will not be available to log on to. Okay this one I've logged on as now so I'll leave that there for now. So we're just going to set up a few more user accounts for different uh, people. Okay, so if we set up another IT admin Okay Okay, so now we've put that one in, we can go to teachers, and for the teachers, we're going to create a new user. So, in this part of the Active Directory, we can then create a teacher called I don't know, Mrs. Smith. So we call that say her first names. I don't know, beans with J. So we call that Jay Smith. Um, we set up the password. And then we can go and set up these few tick boxes here. So, user must change the password and let's log on. Some companies say that, you know, oh, we, we must keep the password logged for for different reasons and other companies say they should have their own password anyway but yeah so that's your with your choice whether you want that on or not and user cannot change password don't have that on if that's ticked because it'll say you've got to change password and it won't let you okay so yeah leave that as it is well apart from that one 
so I was creating another one. Okay, so in the students section, we can set up a whole load of uh, different users here. So, for example, we can call and get someone, say Harvey, and call them Harvey Johnson. So H Johnson. Okay, so we'll just create a few others. Okay then, so you can now see that we've got lots of users in the different folders. Okay, so now that now those users are set up, we have a nice structure for the Active Directory users and computers. So um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, please click like. Uh, please look at the next tutorial and the previous tutorial if you haven't seen it. Uh, have a look at the playlist that will be created in just a minute on YouTube and yeah, please subscribe. If you have any comments please comment below and see you in the next tutorial.